Did I just hear her sobbing? Hmm, maybe I should check on her. Hey Siri. Can I come inside? Astaghfirullah, it's in my key. What happened to your arm, Mr. Dee? It's bleeding! Ya Allah! Assalamualaikum! Sarah! Where are you? I'm here! It must be him. Gerai, Sin. Let me call the Adam! Wait! Siri! Her arm is bleeding. Please drive her to the clinic. I go get him now, okay? Adam, please be here to the nearest clinic, okay? Make sure her wound is clean properly. Sure, don't don't worry about her. I'll take care of her. Aren't, aren't you coming with us? Is she gonna be alright? Oh, about that. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. I just ordered cash and delivery food. I gotta wait. That will arrive soon and I gotta stay. Is that okay with you, sis? I'll wait for you at home, okay? I'm glad you're here to help. Alright, hurry on, get going. Um, before that, our dinner for tonight is still on, right? Uh, about that, I almost forgot. Yeah, it's still on. I go get ready now. So, by right after you all came back, we can go together, right? Will that be fine for the both of you? Sorry. I have ran out of breath. No! Not at all, I did. We will talk about this incident later, okay? I'm sure you need to talk to me. So first, get you one clear. Okay. So, be safe. I love you both. Good morning to the citizens of Malaysia. I am your news reporter Said Hakim with COVID-19 cases provided by the Ministry of Health Malaysia. And it seems that we are still going to be under lockdown until further notice. Alongside that, we are all reminded to follow the rules during lockdown, maintain social distancing and wear our face masks properly when going out. Now, moving on. Hello? What's going on? Who's calling? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! Hi D! I miss you so freaking much! How have you been? You know what? If you miss me that much, you can just text or something. Why will this sudden FaceTime call? Like, ugh. You know what? I got drama to watch. I didn't call you. You call me silly. <laughs> Same old silly D. By the way, isn't there someone else trying to join this call? 
Hey yo yo, what's up girls? Sorry for the late pickup. I was playing PUBG and I was winning, which I did obviously. Chicken dinner once again. Hoot, hoot. Um, so what are we talking about here? Been a while since I heard your voices. Except for this Insta famous now, see? Shut up, Jess. Ugh. Okay, someone please tell me why on earth are were we in this FaceTime call? Yeah, me too. Cheer, girls. What's the rush, anyways? We haven't heard from each other um, since. Looks like you all are here. Great. Oh, look at you girls! I miss you guys so much! I was the one who made the call. Sorry if it was all too sudden. It's just that I just wanted to celebrate this day with you guys despite all the pandemic and stuff. Eh, sorry! Baby girl! No, no! It's okay. If I knew you were the one calling, I would stop my game immediately. Mm, how are you though? Is okay at home? Oh, girls, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure Sarah is already safe in heaven. Which reminds me of the reason why I call you guys today is, is to celebrate with you guys of our third anniversary together as best friend. The loss of my dearest sister, Sarah, and her boyfriend, Adam. Who are also our best friend in that car accident should not be grief over for too long, right? For sure, they want us to celebrate together, right? How I wish that all of us are here to celebrate our friendship anniversary. I'm sure. Sarah will be the most excited person to celebrate this She might even plan crazy things for us, right? You know what? Her accident is still new to me Like, I still cannot imagine how the accident could happen the fact that Sarah and Adam died together does not make sense to me. Like, did they fight or something in the car? Can you not jump into conclusion? You don't even know the truth of what had happened. Dude, I saw in my own eyes. They were fighting with each other behind the library a few days before the accident happened. Like, it is logical to say that the accident occurred because they were fighting in the car. Ah, uh, why it has to be at? No, I mean, no, no, I mean, Sarah, I mean, why Sarah had to be the one who died? What's with the attitude, babe? <laughs> Chill, I'm fully aware that you like Adam, don't you? Wait. What the hell are you talking about? Are you insane? Babes, 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 do you guys believe her? Like, please don't. Mimi, stop whatever you're talking, okay? Why would I stop? It's not like I'm making out stories. <sighs> be honest, Jana. You pretend to be friends with Sarah just because you want to be near Adam. Don't you? You once told me that you dislike Sarah just because she got love and attention from Adam and their feelings were mutuals, right? Why would I? Why would I? What Mimi say is true. My own roommate told me that she saw you trying to flirt with Adam in front of the student activity room and you were pretending that you had a sprained ankle? Huh. Wow, wow, wow. That's so creative. Enough is enough. Both of you are just too much. So please stop. I don't want to argue anymore. Then please don't make me stop. Whoopsie. I'm trying to. Fine. 
you asking for it okay ah sorry honey for information this had betray your sister sarah her own <coughs> best friend what do i do what what do you mean i'm sure sarah had once told you about her eyes when being exchanged right yeah yeah i remember it okay good so here's the thing the person who switched sarah assignment is actually jess jess honey i saw her take sarah's assignment and put it in her own file with her unfinished assignment and then she approached sarah and pretended that she wanted to wanted to help sarah send her assignment by the time when sarah left the class she took that opportunity to switch the cover page and boom guess what just got the credit bro just like that <laughs> Oh my god, poor Sarah. Sari, can you see who is the most toxic here now? And Jess, what kind of friend are you? You're worse than me. You're just oh, so cruel. Like, how can you best up your own best friend? Oh, Jess, don't cry. Look at you done, Jenna. You're too much. You don't even have the right to question our friendship. You're toxic too. Don't you realize it? You dislike Sarah too in the first place. Why bother accusing someone else for not being a good friend? Sorry. Sorry, baby girl. Look at me. This is all nonsense. I've never done that. I love you. I love Sarah. I love all of us. It's just that I'm desperate at that time. I need to get good grades so that I will get the scholarship. I. Why? Why? shop first I forgot to buy Sarah's gift I'm sure she already bought one from No problem Suri just let me change the route first Suri are you okay? Where is your bracelet? What bracelet? <gasps> Do you guys have special bracelet? Why didn't I get one? This is unfair! Shut up, Mimi! Sari, I'm asking you. Where is your bracelet? Answer me! Jess, can you stop asking her that? What's wrong with you? It's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Sari Sari Who is Sari? Sari is not here She's dead The person that you thought was Sari Is me, Sarah Pretty sure Sarah will left this white lily and dress that I bought for her, right? Yeah, I agree. Um, Sarah left at the corner. What was that, Sir? Adam! The guy! Oh, let's go back to. What's going on? Who are you? What do 
you mean you are not Suri? Where is Suri? Who is the one in that grave? Sarah, what the hell? Do you think that is a joke to you? Oh my god, do you think this is funny? Why do you do all this? Oh my god. <laughs> to your twin sister even? Well, well, you were the one to talk. Just a while ago, you were all fighting and were talking bad about me. <laughs> Knowing that I was dead. Well, it's supposed to be. Now, you were all shocked and mad that I wasn't Siri all along. Just show how much you guys didn't even care. You guys never did. I thought so. There was something off about you. Siri never takes off her bracelet. She... Even we didn't notice, okay? We always did cry when we heard the news, Sarah. We aren't heartless like you. You know what? Knowing all this, you lying to us about Siri's death? It should be you who is going to die in that car accident. It's going to be you. How could you say that, Dee? I care for you as if you are my sister. All of you. I cherish this friendship like a family. I can't believe this. Just let me explain why I did this at the first place. Or should I pass the explanation to Mimi? Very well then, I tell them. Before the accident, I was sending her to the clinic after I found out that she was harming us. All this time, she went through it all alone, without telling it to anybody. She was hiding her pain for this stupid toxic relationship. She told me she was tired of being used, and yet she wanted the best for everyone. So, on the way to the clinic, she finally told me her story of what has caused her to harm herself. She was... She was... She was raped by a guy that she barely knew. What? What? Yes, raped. How? She was left there by the person that she trusted very much. But the person left her selfishly for her own safety. Isn't that right, Mimi? Do you feel safe now? I... I, I didn't know what to do. He, he said he wanted to help me with my project. I... She came home late. Nobody was awake. She told me she had it in her cries and went straight to her room because she was scared and disgusted by herself. I noticed she had been eaten for a few days after that night. But she assured me with a smile. She said she was fine. What was I thinking? But the fact that made me even more mad is her own best friend <laughs> that didn't show up when she needed her the most. So Jess, tell us, where were you? I... I remember she left me so many texts and calls. But I... I didn't check them. I didn't have time to check them. I was busy that week. I was busy managing all these programs and... Enough. I'm not the one who deserves your explanation. So tell me girls, did you guys really care? Or was it just a petty act so you could all use my sister for her kindness? For your own selfish benefits? You were supposed to die, not Suri. No, I... No, no, I have to leave to the fact that you leave and Adam's not? You think I wanted to be friend with you? You stole him first, okay? 
I love him. You stole him from me. Oh, poor D. <laughs> if I know you want him that much, I could just dump him for you. But why didn't you tell me that you were okay? Why did you tell me how you feel? I thought that I was wrong for assuming that you had feelings for him and you hated me because I was going out with him. But said it enough. I was right. I thought we were friends, Dee. Oh my god, I'm screwed. What should I do now? What have I done? Me? How's life? Are you happy now? Want to know what that feels like? Never mind. Today is a special day and I didn't expect it to be as terrible as... You know. You guys are such a wonderful friends that I ever had. Thank you. For all these incredible years together. So... Happy anniversary I guess. It was nice to see you guys again. Bye.